Derry has a great and noble idea. She is even offering it for free. But is that enough to create a successful community? To talk about that, we are going to Eric Van Hippel. So, Erdine, what do you have for me today? Daria, Divers for Oceanography. Seems like a really useful idea. What's more, Daria is looking to get it out there for free. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? I know Daria, and it's a very cool thing uh, that she's trying to do. Uh, what she's trying to do is called peer-to-peer -peer diffusion. Interesting. Yeah. Would you define this for us? Well, when you try to distribute an innovation you've made, you can either do it by the marketplace, which is what companies do, they want you to buy it, or you can do it colleague to colleague, user to user. Friend to friend. For free. Exactly. And that's what Daria is trying to do. Well, it's worth it for Daria because she's getting unprecedented research data. Yeah, so she really wants it. She can save research money and all the rest of that, help the oceans, all those things she wants to do. Yeah. So the question for her is, well, but what are the benefits on the other side that will induce those divers to do it for her on a long-term basis? But she's giving it away for free to the divers. The divers don't really have to pay anything. So what's, uh, what's the challenge there? Yeah, so she's giving the idea away for free. She might be giving away the content, mm -hmm. but they have to supply the effort. That's not free. This is really interesting. What is the cost and benefit for the divers contributing the information? She says it's already on their dive computers. That's true. But how do they get it off the dive computers and over to Daria? If she can make that as easy as Wikipedia, maybe she's got a good situation. If it's hard, then she doesn't. They might not want to carry through. Yeah. Once she sees the costs, she can say, oh, well, maybe I can make it more fun for them. I can lower their costs. I can make it a video game. You know, I can create a leaderboard so everybody knows who's first. Yeah, there's community recognition. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. This is true for any user innovator who wants yeah. to diffuse things. So think about decreasing costs for the adapter and increasing the benefit for them as well. That's right. Yeah. Now, her diffusion costs are worth it because she gets all that data. But that's not always the case. Most user innovations are different. Let me tell you a personal story, if I... Those are the best. So I had a tendon problem with my ankle. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine now. Good. But I went to the surgeon, and he said, Oh, you know, kid, it's inflamed. Put on this big, heavy boot and walk around with it for two months. <laughs> <laughs> like a skier who lost his skis. Yeah, 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 exactly. A big ski boot. You couldn't bend at the ankles and so on. So I tried it for a week, you know, and I went back and I said, geez, I can't even walk in this thing. And he said, yeah, well, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> so I went to the hardware store and I just got some stuff and I, I built something that just reinforced that particular tendon instead of the whole boot thing. That's really cool. Yeah, it worked fabulously. I was perfectly willing to give it away to anybody. Of course. I went to the surgeon and said, hey, look at this. He said, well, pretty cool. Have you got it FDA approved? And I said, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm just trying to give it away. And he said, well, do you know it doesn't have any bad side effects? No, didn't have any for me, but I don't know about other people. Sure. So for general adoption in that case, I would have had to do a lot more than I was willing to do. Well, it would be a full-time job for you and then some. Yeah, yeah. And, and I wouldn't want to do it. So even though you're giving it away free. Free isn't always free. The adopter has costs. And you as the giver have costs to make it easy to adopt. I was the user innovator. That's right. But it wasn't worth it to me. It's um, of great benefit to adopters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. but. Your cost is. Yeah. So I guess the point of it is, it's not just that we have to think about cost and benefits for the adopter and the innovator, is that the cost and benefits are not static. You can be creative about them, decrease them, or increase them if we're talking about benefits. Exactly right. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, Eric, great to see you. Good I want to go you. and check back in with Daria. All right. See you later. Great to see you. Yep.